We're going to be doing a little experiment with some butane for all you who failed science class or chemistry or whatever involves butane gas. We're going to be making some, uh, some rockets with water and different temperatures of water and we're going to explain it so you can learn something today. First things first, you got to get yourself some butane. You can get it at the store for like $2.94 a can. And you got to stock up on some Mountain Dew to drink and also get some bottled Mountain Dew so you can use it for your rocket once you're done drinking it. And butane has a very low boiling point, just like propane or nitrogen gas. And so what you're going to do is, once you're done drinking your Mountain Dew, you're going to pour your water in the bottle. And if you heat it up, the hotter the water, the better uh, the reaction is going to be, the faster the rocket's going to go. Um, so you're going to pour your hot water into your bottle. And then what you're going to do is get your liquid propane or butane or nitrogen on top of that. And then when you flip it over, the butane is going to get trapped inside the bottle and it's going to start expanding. And that gas is going to push the water out, creating thrust for the so-called water rocket. Once you got your boiling water, you're going to pour it in your bottle. Don't burn yourself. You're going to fill about three quarters away full. Once you got that, take your butane, the pliers, fill that sucker up. This stuff smells like a skunk, so do it outside so you don't get your mother on your case. You should see the butane coming out. It's a liquid if you tip it upside down. You gotta fill it up quite a bit so you can actually see the butane bubbling on top of the hot water. Once you got that, you're gonna take it. I'm gonna flip upside down real quick. Ready? Tell me what I'm good. Go. Yep. So here's a couple old videos when I first started experimenting with these butane rockets and a lot of the times when you're first starting them you'll add either too much water or too little butane and it's just going to take a lot of trial and error before you can actually get it down and you're going to screw up quite a few times before you do. So this experiment also works as an explosive bottle. if you put the cap on the bottle after you've got the hot water and butane in. It's really dangerous. It'll blow up in your hand and it'll blow your hand off. You can see in these last few clips, didn't work quite right because we mixed butane in with the water. And so then you just have a pressurized bottle that over time is going to build pressure and explode. So you have to be really careful when you're doing it. That's it for the butane and water rockets. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, share it if you thought it was cool. Tell your friends. Check out the channel for some more videos. More crazy content to come.